mean, really, I think that, I don't know, life is, life, I mean, I guess it's all about a lot of things, but, like, one of the main things is about happiness and, you know, making it for yourself and sharing it with other people. And um, I think passing on knowledge and passing on support and giving encouragement, I mean, that people need that. There's, there's not, like, enough of... Um, that in the world, you know, where I, maybe it makes me sound like really naive and too no, silly, but doesn't. I just, um, I think that, you know, if you can make people smile and you can do that in your art or in your ideas or in how you help them, then you should do that. That's good. The Point Street Project is like one project that I um, actually started developing and then realized I needed to form a company. So I formed this company called Active Ideas Productions, which um, does like anything that I want to do outside of the studio, um, like not as Annika Connor. So like Annika Connor is like my art self and my individual self, you know, and Active Ideas Productions is this other hat that I can put on for different things. and. Um, there's a non-for-profit side to that, you know, where we're doing a variety of different projects to support artists, and eventually, when I finally finish the book project, which just takes forever, um, then I already have, um, I want to start a completion grant uh, for young artists, um, because I hear all these artists all the time, like, talking about they have this great idea, they only need $500, and they, they can't come up with that, and, and when I Part of the reason my book project is taking so long is because I needed about $50,000 and I was like, all right, I'm going to come up with that. I don't know how. Uh, and it's been really challenging. And um, so what I want to do is um, start, when I finish that main project, start the other arm of this where artists would, they wouldn't, I wouldn't give them money. They would right. submit their receipts and right. we would pay them. So like if they needed you know, a bunch of material for, for something, then they could order it and submit the invoice and we would pay it if, um, you know, it was an idea we had approved of. And um, so I'd like to do that because I feel that there's just not enough resources out there for to support good ideas. A lot of the big competitive grants and things that are out there, like you have to have won so many other ones before you can get this one. And they seem to be supporting people who I don't know that they don't need support, but when you're already famous artist, like maybe your work sells for a lot, and yeah. maybe you have a gallery, maybe yeah. you have like yeah. collectors, and you have an it's infrastructure in place. Are, yeah. Like, whereas like when you're young and relatively unknown and you can't win those awards, you know, from Cartier or whatever, yeah. um, I feel like you need the help even more, and even just a little bit of help is is huge. So, so you're um, really gathering the left. I find it a little, um, I don't know what the right word is for it, almost a little um, demeaning, yeah. the way that um, society sort of thinks that artists were all sort of airy-fairy, yeah. you know, eccentric types that can't figure it out for ourselves, exactly. and therefore, oh, we shouldn't be taught about copyright law and reproduction right law because we'll have a lawyer that'll take care of that for us. And we don't need to know about you know PR and business stuff because our gallerists will do that. But basically, in any field, like you should be an expert of everything. And then you can have other people that help you with it, but you should still know the basics. And um, the, But there's this assumption that you know all artists are you know, uh, not able to comprehend thoughts like that, which is ridiculous. And most artists, in fact, are extremely intelligent. Um, that's why they have the capacity to think so creatively and so outside of the box. And, well, I mean, I think that the art world is a community. I mean, you're not in competition with your other artists because you're the only person that's making what you're making and everything is one of a kind, you know? So you're not actually in competition, you're in community with them. and. Um, helping each other and, you know, 
building that sense of connectivity, I guess, or um, it's really great, it's really amazing, and you know, I, I really want to be seen in context with the art that I like and admire as well, because then my paintings have like really nice friends on the wall. Yeah. And